Howdy, for this video we're going to be going over the Actives or, or Active Auras module. Uh, it is this one right here. This has become an absolute godsend for me with uh, creating a Paladin because Paladins typically use a lot of auras and I for the life of me could not figure out how to code it just right. So this was an absolute godsend. I'll link in the description uh, what who the, the creator of this is so that you can use this one because it's, it's absolutely amazing. Also, you really need to use Dynamic ActiveX for this or this will not work. This is dependent on this module to do anything. If it's not on, you're not getting any active auras. So, um, the way this works is so you have an aura. So, uh, with my features, uh, so for this particular aura, um, my paladin in this group is an Oath of the Agents paladin. So, any creature within 10 feet of her will get to add um, her charisma mod to their saving throw. Um, her charisma is currently three, or charisma is plus three, so they would get plus three of their saving throws. So the way this works uh, is easier to edit these while they're in the menu and over here. Uh, this one I've already edited, uh, but I'll show you how it's set up. So when you open up Dynamic Active Effects and you create an effect for the first time, uh, so like if you, you know, clicked Add Effect and you go in here and you start editing it. Uh, it'll it'll look blank like this. You would click check is this an aura? What what type of person you're wanting to be affected by the aura? Aura. So obviously you're going to only want to give your allies this boost. Um, the radius of it is going to be 10. Um, so there are some auras that would be beneficial to be applying while inactive. This one would be not one of them. Uh, this particular aura because when the unit is unconscious, this effect doesn't apply. So uh, there's another aura for aura of warding, which does stay in effect. That that one you could probably say would apply for the uh, an active uh, apply while inactive. Uh, it does not have a duration, and then you would create here and you would add your effect of what it's going to do. So mine's already uh, mine's already done. So I'll show you uh, what what mine looks like. So I have it on. I have it checked to apply for allies. I have the 10 feet radius. I'll make sure that the that will transfer this effect on the after when it's equipped. Uh, it does not have a duration in the effect. So mine has, it adds to charisma saving throws. Uh, it will add three uh, to your, whenever a creature gains a bonus uh, to the saving throw. Ah, I coded that wrong. It's, it's all saving throws. I just realized that it's like a, I just looked at that and I was like, wait a minute, that's not right. Uh, a bonus to ability saves and then three save. Okay, well, that's right now. Apparently I had that wrong. Okay. So, uh, you will, uh, once that effect is done and you have it coded the way that you want, you'll drag it onto your character sheet. Uh, it's best to edit it outside because otherwise you you'll get the the pop-up error saying that it can't it can't edit it. Um, also, so what I do a lot of the time sometimes to to really designate that there is a aura in effect, I will create an additional um, effect down here at the very bottom, and I usually do uh, macro token magic, and then I'll select glow. Um, glow is really good because it kind of really shows okay if everyone in this is in this bubble. Uh, this is a one that's uh, in the apply while inactive. I'm going to turn this off so that I can at least uh, when I have it. All right, so it's not suspended. Is the effect an aura inactive? Yep, yep, yep. All right, so all that looks good. Uh, this particular aura will give all units resistances to damage from spells. I could not think of a way to code this than to just pretty much give everybody... Um, just the resistance to all damage types. Um, that's or all all magic damage types uh, is the only way I could figure out how to code it. Uh, I, and then it'll be a thing that I'll toggle I'll toggle it off whenever someone's hit by something that's like obviously a you know like an, an elemental type weapon that's obviously not a spell. So uh, that's something I just got to keep an eye on on my end. But uh, at least that's all you set up for that. And then I have this set up for glow, so you'll see the effect. Uh, once they get onto it. So uh, this one uh, does have the effect on already and I have it set up to being suspended. Um, but I'll 
enable it and then yeah it's already set up for glow just make sure it's not any different on this uh, character sheet so we'll toggle its effect or what, what was that pop up let's see oh, I forgot I'm still getting used to the new changes of the um, the aura effects you have to right click on them now I'm still I'm still trying to get used to it so you'll now notice that on my character it uh, has a, a glowing aura around them so uh, so you can see for example so this is the this is his effects he has he doesn't have anything on him that has anything to do with any auras so as soon as she walks up within 10 feet of him you'll notice he starts to glow and he now has these two auras that have been added to him one that you can visibly see is he has uh, now he has resistances to all these elements that are added that he did not have prior which to designate that uh, they all disappeared as soon as he walked away. And then you also notice that uh, which because this isn't uh, effective there. So yeah, so that's uh, and then if it's there's a there's a, a set that you can do in the in the rules when you're configuring this module that that will walls will block auras. So if you do have this checked, then uh, an example so, this person's right here, so this this I have this built as a, as an invisible wall, so it would have blocked the effect from him, so he wouldn't get the aura. But if I turn that off and save it, he now he now gets the effect of the aura, because uh, this is just like a little counter, so that typically wouldn't block him. But if he was you know in another room here, you know you wouldn't want him to be able to really get it, um, which I don't think it really specifies whether or not they can be within range or not or if they have to be able to see that or not I'll have to look at it I can't remember I usually just have walls block it uh, but uh, that's pretty much it uh, I really like the effect it's like one of the best modules I've, I've come across in a while I absolutely love it it made my life a thousand times easier because prior to using this module I just created the same auras and I just dragged them onto every character and then just what I would do in the background is I would just activate the auras on and off in the background which is really tedious especially when you have I got six people in the group so that was really tedious to do for six people but now with active auras I don't have to so I absolutely love it highly recommend especially if you have any paladins in your group um, another one that I'm doing it for is uh, my character here who does uh, Crusader's Mantle uh, that's another one that it really works good for for doing uh, for doing an aura uh, because it has a huge aura of 30 feet radius so and then everybody gets that 1d4 radiant damage, much like how you would get with, uh, with, <coughs> with, uh, I want to say it's like, a, what is it, Divine Favor. That's the other one that does the similar type thing. But uh, that's about it for this one. If you have any questions about anything, just let me know and uh, have a good day.